Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Claudia and today I'll be showing you how to use Google Calendar. This is a beginner video catered towards anyone who is completely unfamiliar with Google Calendar. I will leave a list of the topics we'll be covering today in the description box along with their timestamps. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and let's get started. First things first, you'll need a Google account to use Google Calendar. If you don't have one, go ahead and create one. They are free to use, straightforward. And if you don't know how to create a Google account, I will leave a link explaining how to do so in the description box. Once you have a Google account, you can access the Google Calendar by typing calendar.google.com into a web browser. You can also access it from your Gmail, which I find to be the easiest method. Just go to Google Apps and click on Calendar and it will open up in a new window. This is the default view and it is a weekly view, but you can change it to suit your needs. This is what it looks like in a monthly view and United States holidays come pre-filled in the calendar. You can change it to four day view, a one day view, but I find it easiest just to stick with the weekly view since you do have that little smaller monthly calendar on the left. If you wanna add an event to your Google Calendar, you can go up to create, click event, and then I find it easiest to click on more options to open this up in a bigger view. This is where you can name your event, choose a start and end time, which will determine how long your meeting is. If it's in person, you can add a location, and if it's virtual, you can add a Google Meet link. This is also where you can add a description for your meeting. And the description box is also the best place to paste a link from a different video conference service like a Zoom link or a Skype link. You can also set alerts for your meetings in the form of an email or a notification. And you can even add multiple if you think you might need multiple reminders for meetings if you're something like me. And here's what it looks like when you get a notification reminder and an email reminder. Depending on your browser, you might need to allow notifications to pop up. So if this window pops up, click continue to allow notifications. To invite other people to your event, if you click on guests, all you have to do is type in their email address and click enter. And you can also change the preferences that your guests have. So if you want to include them being allowed to modify events or if you don't want them to be able to see who's invited or coming to an event, you can change that here. And then once you save your event, you'll have the option to send them an email. If you want your event to repeat, you can use this drop down here and there are tons of options. You can do daily, weekly, monthly, annually and you can of course do custom as well so you can set it to repeat bi-weekly every three weeks you can change the days that it repeats on and you can also choose when the repeating event will end either with a date or after a certain amount of occurrences if you want to stop the repeating event you can just choose does not repeat and you can also make all day events if you don't have a specific time in mind you can just click the all day button and the all-day events will show up at the top of the calendar since they don't have a specific time slot. You can also share your calendar with coworkers or family members if you want them to be able to see your calendar and your schedule as well by clicking the three dots next to your calendar and going to settings and sharing and scrolling down to share with specific people or groups and adding their email. I also wanted to show you what it looks like when you receive a Google Calendar invitation to your email. So you have these options here, yes, maybe, and no, and then more options where you can propose a new time or add a note. So if you select yes, it will be automatically added to your calendar. If you select no or more options, you can send a note explaining why you can't make the meeting and then click send. A great way to organize Google Calendar is keeping separate work and personal calendars. So I'll show you next how to add a new calendar by going to other calendars, clicking the plus sign, and then you can name your calendar. So this will be my work calendar and then click create calendar. So now you can see I have my Claudia work and just Claudia calendars in my my calendars list. And if there is a calendar over here that you don't want to be visible, if you click the three dots, you can choose hide from this list and then you won't see it in your my calendar section. You can also change the color that your calendar is displayed as by clicking the three dots and then choosing any color from this list or creating your own with the plus sign. 
If you want to unhide a calendar, go to settings and on the left hand side, you'll see all of the calendars that you have access to. And birthdays was the one that we hid before. If we click the I, it will unhide the calendar. And as you can see, it's now showing up in our My Calendars list once again. You can also create tasks in Google Calendar by going up to create, clicking tasks. And in this task, let's just say that we have to review a presentation and we have to review it by 3.30. We can click save and it'll now be added to our tasks list, which is right next to the calendar icon in Google Calendars. If we click on that, you'll see all the tasks that you have listed. You can also access your tasks through your Gmail. On the right hand side, there's that task icon again and it will pull up your tasks. So you can check them off here. And if you want to see what tasks you've already completed, go back to your Google Calendar, click on the tasks icon again, and then there is that drop down at the bottom that says completed so you can see what tasks you've completed. I hope this video helped show you how to use Google Calendar. If you want me to make another video with more tips and tricks to help you kind of, you know, organize or really utilize all the features of Google Calendar, let me know and I'm happy to make another video for you. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps my channel. And thank you so much for watching.